okay so once the table is created we can start inserting values into this so the syntax for inserting a values into table is insert into then a table name values then we have to specify a list of values optionally after table name we can specify a list of columns for which we need to specify values so let's say column 1 column 2 if we specify the columns then each individual value will refer to that column and if we do not specify a list of any columns then it is by default taken as the all columns and in the order of which uh, at the time of creation of table so when you write insert into employee without specifying any columns that means we have to specify the values for employee number name designation salary commission percent and manager that is we need to specify six values so employee number is one name is abc clerk salary eight thousand commission percent 10 and manager id as one so we'll insert this record it was inserted and we'll take the second example in this case we have inserting only the employee number designation e name salary and commission percent in this case we are not specifying the manager id so here we specify only five values we'll insert this so let's see the result of the table yes what happens actually when we do not specify any column into the insert statement then that column gets the default value so in this case while inserting into manager id we have not specified manager id so it gets the default value as null similar thing we can do let's say I do not specify a salary as well so let's remove this 10,000 make it as 3 let it be clerk and PQR if we insert this one row inserted and when we check the third record will have two default values and the default values are both for both are null if you remember in the last video we have discussed that at the time of creation of table optionally we can also specify what default value a column will have if you do not specify that default value then by default the default value is null so let's drop this table And at the time of creation of new table, I will specify for manager ID the default value as minus 1. And let's say for salary the default value as 15,000. So what does this mean is that whenever at the time of insertion, if we do not specify a value for this column, instead of taking null as a default value, it will take the default value as 15,000. And in case of manager ID, the default value will be minus one so let's create this table and we'll have the same three insert statements but this time here for both last two records the manager id will be minus one and for the last one the salary will be fifteen thousand let's check this yes so for last to this we have manager id as minus one and salary as 15,000 for the last record so we'll stop for this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll discuss about the integrity constraints that we can specify at the time of creation of table thanks for watching and happy learning